Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one because we are adding another keyboard to our collection. So I know in my previous video, I built the Tofu 60 and this time around, we are building a 65%, also a Tofu brand. So I got my shipment in from KBD Fans and we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna show you everything that the board comes with and then I'm gonna show you switches and keycaps that I'm going to use to build this. So here we go. Um, I know I'm usually excited about all of my builds, but I'm actually really excited about this one because the board itself is beautiful. It is a beautiful color. So you can see right now how stunning this purple is. This is the dusk purple. It is a kind of like a midnight purple color. Um, it looks very, very dark, but once the light hits the actual keyboard, which you can see right here, it's a stunning purple. So <clears throat> like I mentioned, this is a 65%. This is an aluminum and you can probably see that I have fingerprints all over the actual board, but um, she is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, this is a 65% layout, which I'm really excited about, but let me show you the back. How stunning is that? And this is actually like rigid. Like if I go like this, I'm not exactly sure if the camera is going to pick it up. Let me see if I do that. But like these are actually bumps. I don't think the camera is doing a good job at picking up, picking it up, but these are bumps and this is just <laughs> beautiful. So I actually went with the, I think this is the steel color. I know there were three different uh, choices. I think it was this, a gold, and I can't remember the other color. It was a weird, weird uh, color, but I decided for silver um, or steel. I think it looks better with the dark purple, but really excited about it she is just absolutely beautiful the other cool thing about this board is that this is o-ring and i've never done an o-ring um mount so i'm like really excited about that too um we do have some stabs which i do need to lube and i will i'm hoping that these were actually these stabs are actually good um they seem pretty good a little flimsy but um, I hope that they they actually do work well oh my god on this board um, and then it does come with the o-ring which I'm really excited about that it also comes with some tools and some screws as well um, this looks like a little like <laughs> uh, like knitting crocheting tool um, so I'm assuming that's to like put the o-ring on which is pretty cool. I actually had to watch a couple of YouTube videos because <laughs> I've never done this so I'm like really excited about it but I'm also scared that I'm gonna break something. Um, you also get your own tool which is pretty awesome. I think you can actually take this out so you can definitely use this to um, to um, screw on with other type of like allen keys. It has the top where like it is able to move so when you're like screwing it on um it moves like that which is pretty cool okay i'm gonna put the case aside let's talk about everything else so it does come with foam and my plate um so let's talk about foam first um the foam is actually pretty nicely packaged, but as always, there's always like weird dents in some of them. So you have your um, plate foam and case foam and then your switch foam. Will I be using all of these? I'm not exactly sure. You guys know that I usually decide as I'm going along um i want to say that i am going to use this but i'm also probably going to do different configurations to see what i like best with the plate that i got normally depending on the plate that's how i kind of decide what type of sound to go for but this is a different plate that i've used in the past with other with another keyboard only one but 
but this one i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna feel about it um so speaking about plate i went for the fr4 plate which actually looks like this um really cool i actually do enjoy the fr4 plate when it comes to typing and i also like the sound of it i know that some people don't really like it i think the current hype is pp plate but i actually do like um fr4 plates so i'm hoping it's going to work out with this but this is o-ring as well so there's just a lot of new things happening right now and i don't know what i'm going to like or dislike um i might end up getting more plates if i don't if i don't like the way that this sounds but if anything i would probably go with the carbon plate um because i actually do like carbon plate i love it on my um qk 75n and then this is the pc plate which looks like that they already have the um cable on which is pretty nice and yeah it looks pretty decent it looks cool honestly this this part right here reminds me of like a skyscraper <laughs> all right i'm gonna put this aside and i'm gonna talk about switches and keycaps but because i'm actually excited about that. moving on to switches so i've actually featured these i think in a short video i don't i don't think i feature this in an actual youtube video um, but these are Gateron smoothie switches and these provide more of a soggy creamy sound so if that is more of your vibe I highly recommend these um, I will leave the specs and the price all within the uh, video but um, if you're looking for more of a clacky sound I would stay away from these because I don't think you can really produce a clacky sound with these switches um, if I remember correctly, these are a little bit on the kind of heavier side. Um, so I'm going to test these out, see how I like how these turn out within the keyboard. And if not, I also have a backup plan if I don't if I don't like these. OK, and now moving on to keycaps. So I've actually bought these keycaps. I want to say maybe two to three months ago decided to go for these these are the blossom cherry keycaps by novel keys and these are a cherry profile these were about fifty dollars if i remember correctly and they are so so pretty i'm going to show you what they look like they are absolutely gorgeous and i'm so excited to try them out within this keyboard i think that the color of the keycaps along with the color of the keyboard is just going to look amazing. I am so excited about that. So now that I've showed everything that I'm going to use for this build, let's begin.
Alrighty, friends. So this is the end product, and I think she looks very, very beautiful. I cannot explain how well these keycaps go with this keyboard and by no means was this kind of intentional i mean yes i bought the keycaps first and then i bought the board but these keycaps match perfectly so i'm not exactly sure if the camera will pick it up but the actual text or the actual legend of the keycaps match the keyboard itself it is just a perfect match in shock she is absolutely beautiful um one thing i do want to say is that i had to kind of like break part of the pcb i don't know if that's normal with o-ring mount um this is my first time ever doing an o-ring mount but like i literally had to break this part off of my key of the pcb so I'm not exactly sure if that's just part of O-ring mount. I feel like I it, it isn't. I don't think it is. I've never had to do that with any of my other builds. I don't know if that was just kind of like an in a, like a mistake, an error on the side of the um, of the KVD fans. But um, whatever, I was able to remove it. But yeah, I never had to do that before. So. Another thing is um, this board. I haven't seen many people build one, so I didn't really know what I had to do. So I had to do quite a few research to see what I needed to do. There was another piece that I had to take off. This was the piece from the bottom. So you can see here, that is where the bottom goes. And then there was another piece on top, which I ended up throwing it somewhere. I don't know where it went, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward build. Um, thankfully, that is a good thing. So. But with that being said, let's move over to sound test. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you on my next one.